My name is Sue Montgomery. I'm the justice reporter with the Montreal Gazette. I created, along with a colleague, the hashtag being raped never reported. My first tweet was, he was my grandfather. I was between three and nine years old. I'm Alexa Conradi. I'm president of the Quebec Women's Federation. I participated by saying me too, not once, but three times. And then we created a hashtag in French and it went viral. My name is Vanessa Pilon. I am a TV host covering social media here in Quebec. I wrote a tweet saying 18 years ago by a neighbor, 14 years ago by a friend, and four years ago by a colleague. And I sent that tweet a few minutes before going live on air. The words have come tumbling out. It's been an unprecedented moment of revelation, of kept secrets and shame. These three women agreed to talk about it with me at this Montreal cafe. Boy, an extraordinary few weeks for you guys. Mm. You were the first at this table to really get this ball rolling. Sue, why, why did you launch that hashtag, been raped, not reported? Well, in the wake of the Gian Gomeshi um, allegations, people on social media were talking about these women and why they didn't come forward and why they didn't give their names and why didn't they go to the police. And day after day, I was getting more and more angry because I knew why they didn't go to the police. None of us do. So I contacted a colleague of mine. So she came back with, how about this, being raped never reported. And then I tweeted my story and it just went, took off from there. You created a French hashtag. You know, in Quebec, almost nobody really knows um, about Gameshi. They don't listen to the program, they don't really know anything about him, but I knew that if we were to start something, there would be thousands of women ready to speak up about their own mm -hmm. situation, because these are issues that have just been under, just under discussed publicly, but are on the cusp of being talked about, so. It's like, it's just this spark that, um, mm -hmm. That just ignited. There's, this, there's something this sleeping. Uncontrollable and then, forest fire that's just gone around the world, you know. And uh, yeah. I guess we can thank him for that. <laughs> and yet, no one here had ever heard of him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's true. At work, they go, "Si, quoi, go mesh." Vanessa, you cover social media. Yes. The, the Gion story was that connecting with people here? Uh, it, it, Gomeshi didn't ring a bell for a lot of people so I saw all these tweets in French and then I, I realized it finally picked up in French from Alexis hashtag? from Alexis yeah. hashtag and so I was like okay well we need to talk about this so right before going live on air I just tweeted and I was like I'm going to to talk to to manage this afterwards I'm wow. I, I just need to tweet it out and then I'm going to manage it so you you revealed a a yeah. secret. What did, what did you say? I was assaulted three times and I just wrote a very short tweet about it. Three times uh, when I was 10, when I was a teenager from a, from a friend and then from, a, from one of my boss when I was a little bit older. So I just wrote about it with no details and I didn't feel like I wanted to speak about it in details but uh, yeah, it's just... And your co-host was like, whoa. <laughs> yes, and he, he was totally on, in shock and he just said to me, I'm 47 years old and I, you're the first person that I know who's been assaulted. And I was like, there's a very... Yeah, no, it, no. that wouldn't be the first one who I knows. don't you think I am the first. <laughs> I'm just the first person who's... That talk, you know about. That you know mm -hmm. about. And what was your moment? Because you basically decided to tell a story too. Well, I think what motivated me to talk about it was the fact that I was afraid that we'd only see monsters. And in fact, the most of the people who've assaulted us in our lives have been really close people. They're usually friends, their boyfriends, their uncles, their fathers, their partners. That's so much more emotionally difficult to reckon with than to imagine these sort of scary men standing in the streets in the dark. And so I was assaulted by a partner. It, the sexual assault didn't repeat, but the psychological violence continued, and that was you know, it marked really the beginning of the control. What happened with you and, and why, did, why did you wait so long? What, or what was it? Well, um, I was sexually assaulted by my grandfather starting around great, uh, when I was three years old and till about nine years old. You don't want to believe that they're hurting you in such a profound way. 
Um, and I didn't tell anyone because he threatened me. He said, if you tell anyone, this is our secret, if you tell anyone, I will spank you. So for a child, that's a pretty big uh, threat. And then when I was in my 20s, I was working as a flight attendant during the summer. While I was at university, the, one of the senior flight attendants raped me. And so I did the same thing with him as I did with my grandfather. I just separated my body mm -hmm. from my head and just put up with it until he left. And I didn't go to the police because, believe it or not, I thought I would lose my job. Mm -hmm. But how big a moment is this? It seems like a long time since we've had, in Quebec or outside, a, a, a discussion like this. Mm -hmm. What's, how, how big a, a deal is this, all of these women coming forward? I think it's a, it's a marking of a change where I think um, we're done with this problem. Mm -hmm. Like it's time now for this problem to not be on our shoulders and us dealing with the consequences. It's time for the society to deal with it. But I like to think that, like at first when I did this, you know, it was trending for a couple of days, this hashtag. And um, I mean, it's been a month um, and it's sustained and it's grown and it's grown around the world. And everyone is joining in the discussion. Are so, there a lot more women coming forward? Oh yes, now? and it's not necessarily that they, they what the experience just happened yesterday and now they're coming. It's more just that people are saying, "Oh, there's a place to go. We can talk about it." The conversations are broad, are deep, they're difficult, uh, and they're all coming to the fore at the moment. Delicate. The wave of denunciations came from all walks of life, including from some of the most prominent women in Quebec. Moi-même, j'ai été agressée. Ben, ça s'est passé quand j'étais mineure. Il a pas compris que j'étais pas prête. The millions of tweets provoked a conversation. J'en ai assez. There were revelations on the biggest TV and radio shows. De toutes les femmes qui étaient violées, agressées. Jeanne Gomeshi. C'est un animateur de CBC qui a été congédié. And secrets held for 40 years poured onto the front page. On the streets, a guerrilla postering campaign against catcalling. Everywhere, conversations erupted in people's homes and workplaces. So we hear these stories, and outside Quebec, we think it's been driven so much by the Gian Gomeshi affair, but it sounds like there was something so oh, yeah. similar but different mm -hmm. happening here. What, what did this tap into, do you think? Well, for, for one thing, it's 25 years since Polytechniques, which was a huge, I mean... When Mark Lepin when Mark all Lepin those women targeted them. And so, We've been very quiet and polite and patient and women, you know, trying to get change. And nothing has changed. In fact, I think it's got worse. Mm -hmm. uh, for largely, in, in large part, I would say, because of the internet and the kind of pornography that young boys uh, have access to and take that for normal. Do you think mm -hmm. it's worse? Yes, I have the feeling it, it got worse because um, the sexual education is, is it, it, we have a big lack of sexual education in our school, so education comes from the internet, from um, if you have a question, you go on the internet, you watch pornography. And yes, it, it, it's been trivialized, like, like not violence, but just the, 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 um, just the way to behave sexually. And, and, and young people have a lot of questions and they're answered by the internet. And there's also social media. Did you have any regrets whether it, like there's been a little bit of a backlash there was a columnist who called it a manhunt in la presse mm -hmm. and, yeah. well and, and other people you know comparing mm -hmm. it to selfie like selfies is just a trend to have this mm -hmm. sort of hashtag action did you ever have moments where you thought i regret this um well you you, you see you see the um, the, the, the way people look at you change afterwards and you're like, okay, now they're looking at me. And I didn't want to victimize myself. I didn't want to identify myself as being a victim. So that, that was hard to, 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 um, to put up with a bit. But um, yes, online, I, I got a, quite a lot of backlash, backlash hmm. because I, I'm young and I, I, I cover the social media. So I, I, I read a lot of, um, why didn't you talk about this earlier? Just because it's a trend now, I just want to be part of the trend. Mm. And also I, I read, well, that happened three times, so there's a pattern there. Like, what's that mm -hmm. pattern? What's your pattern? And I was like, really? And, and that's the kind of stigma that, um, that, that makes women not talk. That, that, that there's, there's been a lot of support for the women who have come forward, but there's also been people going, 
hang on, you know, like we've seen the reaction to some of the accusations out of Ottawa, the, 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 the MPs who have been accused anonymously. Um, can it go too far? Like has the door been opened too far or is it all good? I think, it, well, it, in just like in any movements, it can go uh, become too radical, but I don't think it can be too radical. I think we need to be radical because we okay. haven't been radical for it's so many been. years. So, so what and happened? I mean, just you've been involved just. in the women's movement for, for decades. This is, there was a huge women's rights movement 20, 30 years ago, and yet it sounds like all of these secrets, it just keeps happening. Well, what I think has happened is that there's been this idea that equality has been achieved and that put a lot of people to sleep mm -hmm. um, in the public sphere and, and people are realizing, oh, well, we can't have equality if this many women have been assaulted in their lives. So I think what, what is a watershed moment is perhaps the end of that era that says equality has been mm -hmm. achieved. I'm hoping that this will be one of those opportunities. It's, to it's also why the word shift. feminism and being yeah. a feminist is is something that has a negative connotation. It's like, well, why do you want to protect women? We, we, we achieve gender equality and, and that's really... Did you, do you see yourself as a... I, I, I definitely see myself as a feminist, but just identifying yourself as a feminist, I think there's a, a vision of, of feminist that, that, mm -hmm. that's maybe an, an old vision and, and the, the, the feminists today are, are different. So is this, <laughs> Sue, is this a big moment, do you think? I hope so. I mean, I, I feel that it is. Um, or is it just trending as they yeah. say? <laughs> well, it's been a month, so in the, you know, in the news thing, that's a long time. Um, you know, it's one thing to have a sexual harassment policy hanging on your wall, but it's another thing to have, when you hire people, you tell them what sexual harassment is, what it looks like. You tell people what you do if this happens to you. This is the person you go and talk to. This is how you document it. And we will have your back if it happens. You will get a fair hearing. You will not lose your job. You know, so we need to train people about what constitutes a, a consensual, a respectful relationship. What are you hoping will, will happen because of this now? Just to change them the shame, like to switch it <laughs> from one side to the other. I, 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 kept, I kept quiet for so many years because I was ashamed. I, I, I thought it was maybe my fault and maybe I wasn't too clear. Exactly, same thing. Was I clear that I, was, I did not give consent? Or, and one, one time I was intoxicated, so I can't, I can't report it to the police. So, so, so just to have, to have this switch side and just uh, mm -hmm. like have an, a, an open conversation about it and not take anything for granted. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you hoping will happen? Would well, I really hope that's anything like, concrete. <laughs> yes, I think it's an epidemic. What's happening to women? Your stories are all from years ago, so I don't hear that you're pressing charges against anyone. So, concretely, where does the, where does this go, or does it just feel good to tell it? Hmm. I'm really not motivated by any means by the idea of finding that person in jail. Mm. Um, or them being punished in a particular way. I'd like to be able to say what happened, um, explain the effects, and then hear an apology and a recognition. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I confronted my grandfather actually before he died, and that's all I wanted too. I just wanted a recognition that what he did and for him to apologize. But did he? No. Um, no, not at all. He called me a liar and he said I was making it up. And, and by that point, I just, I just said, okay, well, I know what you did, God knows what you did, and you'll just rot in hell because he was a very religious mm. guy. But I, I just think that everyone has to find their own way out of it. There isn't just one solution. Are you proud of what you did? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I'm, I'm I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to put that to the world, like put that face to the world, but I think um, it's, it, it, it was mm -hmm. time. Thanks so much. For sharing all your stories with us. <laughs> Thank you.